It's the truth, he meant the future, you know I want to talk about Ebony K. Williams, right? Ebony K. Williams is this woman who went viral for basically saying she wouldn't date a bus driver, right? Uh, he has to own the bus, right? I believe she was also on the Real Housewives of New York City, right? So you got this woman, Ebony K. William, Williams, choosing to become a single mother. You see, women do this a lot, right? Women raise kids without fathers. They have no problem raising children without their fathers. We see it with the uh, lesbian joints. It'll be two joints raising a kid, talking about it's their baby. You know what I'm saying? We used each other eggs. No, uh, that kid has a father who donated the sperm, right? I believe men should really stop donating their sperm to, to women. It should be a law like, look, you have to be a couple to uh, get donations to try to have a baby. Like, you know, like couples who can't have a kid, like he might not be able to or something like that, right? But you got this woman going out, getting sperm, impregnating herself to raise the kid by herself, basically choosing to become a single mother. We have seen the statistics, right? The statistics say raising a kid with the mom and dad is better than just the mom. Matter of fact, men raising kids by themselves, single fathers, Single fathers do just as a great job as mom and dad. I personally believe a kid needs their mom and their dad, right? But women, on the other hand, have no problems raising kids without fathers. Fathers are not needed in their eyes. The main thing that's needed, they believe it's not needed. This is why single motherhood is praised. These single mothers, mothers quick to tell you, I did it by myself. They be proud single mothers, right? They'll raise your child with a dyke joint. It'll be two lesbian bitches raising a kid. You see them all the time, right? You don't see this with the men, right? How often do you hear about some man trying to just uh, get somebody else to have a baby using his sperm and he's just going to raise the baby by himself? Without the mother. When have you heard of this? Do you see men going out there just trying to raise kids without mothers? No. But you see mothers trying to raise kids without fathers. Now this kid got to grow up and not even know who his daddy is. This is women for you. You got women out here who are having kids and the kids got to live a life. Not even knowing who their father is, right? Basically uh, saying that fathers are not needed. It's okay. You don't have a dad. I know you're going to go to school and see all these other kids with their dad. And you're going to ask me, mama, where my dad at? What is this woman going to tell, tell the kid? Oh, well, mommy uh, just had you by herself using somebody's sperm. Mommy knowingly, mommy knowingly brought you into this world. I planned not to give you a daddy. Mommy literally brought you into this world without a daddy. And guess what? Mommy did it on purpose. Mommy thought this would be great for you. Mommy thought this was not needed. Fuck you going through the first grade, second grade, third grade, fifth grade. Fuck you playing sports because at this point when you're when you're getting a sperm, uh, you don't get to choose uh, what you want the kid to be. You don't get to pick if it's a boy or girl. So you could have a boy, right? You could have a girl. I believe both need their dad, right? But you can have a boy so... You have a boy, he want to play sports. You don't think that's going to come up in a conversation? You just don't think this is going to come up at all. For real. 
your kid ain't never gonna just ask you about a father. This 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 tells you about how women move. And she's getting praised. You got joints praising her. You got joints want to follow in her footstep. Follow in her footstep of raising a child purpose, on purpose. Purposely. Without the father. And this is great. She on the magazine holding her belly. Just like they, they, they be doing with the uh, gay joints. Holding each other belly. This is so great. Look at these lesbian joints out here bringing kids into the world with no father. Kid got to grow up with mama and mama. And guess what? Guess what they're going to be installing in the kid? Number one, because you know, women are the type to, because they do something, it's all of a sudden okay. Because I was a single mother, it's okay if my daughter becomes a single mother. Because, you know, I was a stripper. Ain't nothing wrong with stripping, so my daughter can be a stripper. I was this. Ain't nothing wrong with that, so my daughter can be that, right? So what are they going to do? They're already going to let the child know, look, it's okay to be gay. Next thing you know, if it's a son, he gay. If it's a daughter, she gay. Because guess what? She grew up with mama and mama. Her, on the other hand, Ebony, her ass is out here off some. It's going to be me and only me. It's in a situation where, oh, your daddy live over here. You know, we ain't together, but you know, you can go see your dad. Your dad can call you during your birthday. It's your dad and your mom. You know, you can still contact your father, right? Ain't that. Ain't even a situation where, you know, you might not be talking to your dad like that, but you know your dad, you know your dad's family, you know you uh you got family members from your dad's side, you chop it up with them, all that. It's not even that. It's, nigga, you don't know your daddy, you don't know his side of the family, you don't know what's going on on that side. You don't know nothing about that side, and you will never know anything about that side. Think about that. That's what this woman is doing. This woman is having a baby on purpose to bring him into this world or her into this world without the father and think that it's okay. Why isn't shit like this called out? Why isn't shit like this frowned upon? Why, why, why is this bitch on a magazine like this is something great? You see what they promote? They promote single motherhood. They promote it. They praise it. These hoes like to talk about the men left the home when you're seeing women constantly choose to become single mothers, whether it's by the actions, the men they date, the men they choose, the relationship they uh, uh, get in. You chose to get into that relationship. You chose to meet this nigga and have unprotected sex. You chose not to take a plan B. You chose not to have an abortion. You chose to have the baby knowing this nigga was in the streets. You chose to have the baby knowing this nigga was not with you. You chose to have a baby knowing this nigga was not going to take you serious. You chose it, right? Just like this woman is choosing to bring a kid into this world without a father. And then you're going to have women saying, well, she can afford to do that. That's not all it takes to raise a child. Ain't women the main ones to say that? When a nigga only pays child support or he only gives her money and he's not in the kid's life, they're the first one to say that. That's not all it takes to raise a kid. And I agree. Money ain't all it takes to raise a kid. That's why if you're spending, if you're spending money, if you're if you're paying money for your kid, say you're paying child support, but you don't see your kid, you're not raising your kid, right? You're taking care of your kid. There's a different be difference between raising your kid and taking care of your kid, right? This woman is putting this kid in a situation where he's not being raised by a father or being taken care of like a father would, right? Being taken care of as, of a, fa as a father, right? But when these women are out here having kids and, and, and got a nigga on child support, they're actually choosing to raise the kid without a father, right? 
but they're still getting help. You're going to have women saying, well, she makes money. She can do it. She can take care of the kid by herself. She don't need a man, need a man for this, need a man for that. Then when that kid get older, I guarantee you there's going to come a situation where that kid is going to look their mama in the face, look her in the face and say, what? why don't I have a daddy? Where's my daddy? What are, you, what, what are you about to say to this kid? What are you about to say? I chose to, to bring you out here without no daddy? How was a kid supposed to feel all, all for that? And then when that kid goes up, grows up, and has animosity towards you, and got to feel the way they're feeling like, Women are evil people. Once again, this is another situation where women harm children. The main group talking about they're the least protected are always the group harming children. Because I believe, I believe this should be a crime. Because this is abuse. Knowingly bringing a child into the world to not have a father. To have to go into the world and see other kids with fathers, never knowing their father, not even knowing what he looked like, not even getting that love, stripping that away from a child on purpose. This is okay. Though. This, is, this is what women can do. The main group who cry about abuse get to abuse children. The main group neglecting kids, cursing kids out, beating kids. They can put their hands on kids, but you can't put the, your hands on them, right? Yelling at these kids, talking to them crazy like a nigga in the streets, cursing them out, disrespecting them. Then they also get to have abortions. L look at women. The main group talking about protection get to do these type of things to kids. And get praised while doing it. They share it. Yay. Y'all see the brat. The brat of daddy mommy. Look at the brat and them bringing a kid to the world with two bitches. Wow. That's so great for the kid. That's so great. He got two mamas, y'all. I wish I had two mamas. Look at this. This is praise. Show me the celebrity gay couple nigga that's out here with a kid. Show me. You can't. Show me the bunch of niggas you just go out as two gay niggas just running around with four kids. Show me it. But you see this all the time with these women, right? You can just be out and about. All of a sudden, goddamn, two bitches, dyke joint, some fat ugly bitch. These hoes with day bitches, niggas ain't even trying to fuck. Some of these dyke bitches, I ain't mad at y'all because, bitch, we see why you's a dyke. Because ain't no nigga hollering. Ain't no nigga about to smash you. You you had a uh, a dyke joint actually going viral just like crying, talking about, I'm ugly. I, 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 niggas don't even want to fuck me. You know, you know you ugly when niggas don't want to fuck you. I'm just, I'm just saying, you're, you're a rock bottom as a woman when niggas don't want to fuck you. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it a buck, right? She's like, I'm, not, I'm ugly. I know y'all, y'all got the whole filter on. You know you ugly when you got the, the avatar filter, joint, makeup filter, joint. Like you, you don't just that ain't even you, right? But he's like, I know I'm ugly, and the only person to call me beautiful is my mama. Girl, if you don't if you don't go that way, if you don't go that way, women running around here talking shit. But they will date a bitch. Ain't no nigga gonna date that bitch. That's why she gay. You a data? You, you ain't seen these bitches? Bitch walking around with some ugly fat dyke. A fat fat ugly bitch who's a dyke walking around with these bitches. That's that, that's who they date, right? And that's who be raising kids with these bitches. Running around here quick to raise a child without the father. That's all they do. And have no problem doing it. You see it all the time. This woman is choosing to become a single mother. And then they'll be the first ones to talk about niggas ain't in the home. The fathers done left the home. We have seen the single mother statistics. We've seen it. We've seen in every category, 
is, 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 is bad. It's bad. It's the worst situation a kid can be in because these hoes ain't logical. A single mother will turn your, your, your son into a daughter quickly. Single mothers is with all the agendas. These hoes are with all the agenda. What agenda don't they support? They support the whole cultural agenda. They support the gangster agenda. They support the single motherhood agenda. They support the gay agenda. Who the main ones running around in rainbows supporting a, a pride month? And I ain't gonna lie. It seems like people don't got tired of pride month, right? They done, they done messed up the whole June, right? But it seems like people are tired of Pride Month, right? But who are the main ones supporting Pride Month? These hoes. What agenda do they not support? Somebody tell me this. What agenda do they not? Because straight black men, guess what? They don't support the gay agenda. Straight black men are, are solid, rock soft, solid with this. You ain't come here with all that gay shit. We solid on that. That's one we can say brothers is solid on. It's solid on. What these hoes solid on? Not that. They're not solid on anything. The abortion agenda, black men ain't doing that. We ain't got our hands in that. Y'all responsible for over 20 million black babies not being born. Got your hands in that. What y'all ain't got your hands in? Can somebody tell me that? I would love somebody to tell me that. Uh, the shootings in the streets. Uh, who's raising these little niggas shooting in the streets? Got your hands on in that again. There you go. Hands in that. Hands in everything. But want to be out here raising kids by themselves. This shit is crazy. I'm out.